Okay, so I think this is a shot that gets not enough attention. Mm. It's like it's like a little bread and butter shot for a, for a tour pro. Like this would be a 90% up and down rate for a normal tour pro. Yeah, not, not even like three feet. Not even like the best. Yeah. Just a normal tour <laughs> pro. And the average player is getting this up and down four out of you know four out of ten times. Right. Know, that's only a 40% success rate. So you change this area of their game you're taking three shots off their handicap. That's a great point. Right away. Absolutely. So let's talk about maybe how you play it first and then we'll kind of go into if we Definitely. need to make any changes. Definitely. So I think is if I'm really close to the fringe, I'll putt it. But this is the distance, like you said, that it starts to be a, a lofted club conversation. Yeah. I do reach for the highest lofted, so I'll, I'll go 60. Okay. Um, I won't try to hit it high though. So okay. I am I'm definitely tending to probably play it sort of middle-ish, middle back fairly square club face. I'm picturing like a, you know, a shot that's lower than the flag stick and probably lands on the green and releases the rest of the okay, way. Okay, how far on the green would you like to land this thing? Probably about 10, 15 feet, something like that. Three okay. or four paces. So just to get a rough idea, there's one, two, three, there's four paces you like this area here? Yeah, they are just short of where you are. That's where I'm, I'm, I'm All right, definitely imagining. Alright, we'll just put imagining. that down as, just, just as a reference point, just to see how we get on here. See how far I miss it by. Yeah, well, <laughs> or how bang on you are. Yeah, okay. So that's our landing spot. Alright, I'll try to just hit my normal kind of shot. That's a big tendency, so I often will fly it too far. I'm not like, I'm not, I don't hate that shot, but I flew it way too far. Yeah, so what about if we just changed it up a little bit? Mm. What about if we said two paces on, I want you to land it there Kay. and make it run to the hole. If that means you need a little less loft, that's fine. Right. If it means you put it back in your stance, that's also fine. Okay, I'll try it with this club first. Okay. So it needs to release rather than fly. Yeah, so you're just gonna just focus on landing it at that shorter one. So one of the easiest things to think about is that picking a landing spot closer to you, yeah. is even though you didn't hit that grip, it's easier to execute. So your ability to get it closer to the hole increases just by picking a better landing spot. Because it's further away, it just becomes less likely that you'll hit it. Yeah. It makes a lot of sense. So a lot of times when we do testing, we do three paces. So we have players practice hitting three paces. And what we'll do, if you throw me a ball there, or mm -hmm. just kick me over a ball, what we'll do is we'll put a T here with a ball on it. I'll take three more paces and I'll do the same and I'll take three more and do the same. You'll be able to hit this ball probably within five shots. This one here, it'll take you 10 to 20 okay. shots to actually hit, hit it right on the bang on. This one here, we could be here for hours. <laughs> and this is not just like you as a good player, yeah. this is like almost everybody, the even the tour pros that I measure. The ability to hit a three yard and a six yard is actually very good. Mm. But as soon as we go nine and 12, it diminishes. So our ability to hit our landing spot changes so it becomes so much more difficult. Mm. Does that make sense? It, it makes a lot of sense. Yep, it makes a lot of sense. So then the only real way you get into any trouble is if you landed at that distance but really badly miss hit it. Yeah. Or you select the wrong. Select the wrong club or select something. the wrong club. Gotcha. So, so if I wanted to go, so that was a 60. Yeah. Um, for someone who's in a higher handicap range, that's probably not your highest percent shot. Yeah, probably Would your you go, gap wedge maybe. Okay, so I've got I've got the 50 degree gap wedge here. And maybe we'll just go with sort of hands kind of neutral so you've got some activation of the bounce. So don't take away the bounce and don't lean it, just lift yeah, it. Yeah, just neutral. in the middle, grip down a touch. And then just sort of like a putting stroke, really not any fanciness here. Kay. And you're just trying to land it on that spot there. Yeah, you're right. So I did I did miss the landing spot, but it's like, you know, five feet away. Yeah. Quite interesting. So your ability, if we measured, if we hit, you know, 20, 30 balls, I think our proximity after a while would come I can see that. Down greatly. So it means that you're just gonna have make more make more conversions for par or birdie. Is this a situation where I could go as low as like an eight iron? Is it is it an issue because I've got fringe here? I think you'd have to have a pin that was further away. Yeah. to do the eight iron, but you could certainly play the eight iron. Let's say you're just, you really struggle with your wedge. If and, it was someone and, who was struggling. And yeah. you just really need something. What I'd do is I'd play the exact same shot, but I'd probably land it 
probably somewhere in around here. Okay. So because it's an eight iron, we don't have to worry about it getting caught in the fringe. It'll just literally bounce through it. Right. And just think of it like a putt. So just sort of roll it up there. Yeah. So you have also the same tempo as a putt. You know, you don't have to force this one little bit. Gotcha. Your ball position is kind of just yeah, forward to center sort yeah, of thing? just neutral there. Hands are kind of neutral. Just make like a putting stroke. Really make it very easy and simple. I like that a lot. Yeah, I see what you mean. That might go in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes a lot of sense because I'm, I'm making it very hard on myself with the high loft, the wedge. That wasn't a great result. Luckily, it spun or it probably would have been down that ridge. I'd have 30 feet for, yeah. for par. And I think we were talking about it earlier. We were watching you hit shots earlier. I'm going, why is he hitting that <laughs> shot? You know, I like know. not that you didn't execute it really well. But it had a tiny margin. I think there's other areas. I think there's other shots that are just easier. T totally. I mean, if that's not an easy illustration for someone, I'm not really sure what is. No, Love perfect. It. Great job.